were parked right at the edge of Junior's property. There's the official marker here, the stake with the uh, tag on the in it. That wooden stake is right beside the pin. There was about three deer that just went back there by the burn pile. So this here, where these tops are at, that's the old logging road going down into Juniors. And here, where I got this X on the tree, that's the property line that kind of runs on a weird angle on if you're looking straight here it kind of goes straight back on an angle you can see i got a second tree down there uh, it's a a shaggy hickory that's got paint on it that is the line going down through there this is like a 52 degree angle but and they've started marking some of Larry's trees. They're up to 107 on that one. Several of them are marked. But here's the tops. And this is part of, it won't be this bad when they're done, but they're, this will be part of what we have to clean up ourselves. It's finally quit snowing sideways supposed to quit pretty thinned out but a lot of these trees are dead standing the sassafras are dead so we're gonna take a lot of this stuff it's leaning bad already probably about 20 more trees out of here and then some more back around the clearing but a lot of this is just gonna be clean up up here and a lot of that brush down in there that's fine, that's what we got the tractor for. We will flat put it to it. No biggie. Pretty good size reed trees here, but as you can see, even though they look big, these trees, like that big one right there, that tree is about half rotten, even though it's three plus foot round, and that's that's part of the problem with these big trees is they're not healthy, and it's they look it standing up but you cut them and they're not now that's a good one there 
that's a good tree there that's either a maple that might be an oak there that's a poplar over there with the white and green This is where they had to, we're cutting back pretty heavy along the drive because I do not want to be mowing and I don't want tree limbs. So the drive is wider than it really needs to be, but we don't want the, uh, the drive is going to be probably 16, maybe 18 foot wide, the gravel part. And then here where we drive across is going to be probably 28 foot worth of culvert going in right here gonna be a 12 or 16 inch concrete culvert So over here to the left, it's not 100% cleared, but it is almost. And right there, we're on the cleared to the property line. <clears throat> this is where we'll probably have a road once we come up our driveway this will be cut over to juniors until we figure out what we want to do with his drive it's a good level spot through here all the way over to where he's going to be clearing out to build but here's a little bit probably past halfway back point from front along that angle line so this that's the property line. There's a split, those shaggy hickories we can see up front. And I just seen them deer. We'll see if we see them from early on, but it is absolutely beautiful and dead silent almost. Getting the where the septic tanks gonna be back here. That's gonna be all drug out. Can't drive back in there. Pretty much from where that tree is leaning on, we gotta stay out of there. So that'll all have to be hand cut and hand pulled or drug out with a the chain. There's still a lot of cleanup to do, but it's really, really looking good.
walk down this way just a little bit. See if I get this trail open back up. I haven't been down here since the first day they started cutting. Today would be the day to have a monster fire. But that was a whole lot of brush that was there yesterday. pretty pretty messed up back in here that's because we can't they had to uh, <clears throat> they had to leave this open for so long cutting down off that peninsula so yeah a lot of this will probably be later on but pretty much I don't think there's too much more coming out of here that big tree that's left the beach we're leaving that as a nature tree. That tree is about a third hollow at the bottom, but it's still pretty healthy. So we're gonna leave it up until it drops on its own. That's kind of a pretty big tree, about four foot across. And there's another big beach there. And we're gonna leave. All these are starting to get on the, where the ravine starts dropping off really bad. We're leaving them, just let them be. That's it. That's the back side of where we'll be cleared. We probably won't. This will be the furthest point if we do any grass that there'll be any. There might be. I don't think there's quite one acre cleared, but there there might be at this one spot. But it's not a perfect. I don't know if the camera does it justice. It's not dead flat. I'm probably about five feet down maybe four from where the highest point where that stump is in the middle there and i'm probably 100 and 100 125 feet away so that's pretty much what we did was 125 foot 150 foot out circle from the center and that's where we marked and here's the deer tracks that just went through right before i came up here so we've messed their trails all up we'll have to get that open because I, I like seeing it down. Yep. Some, some big, that looks like some big uh, buck prints there. Anyway, that's it. Over here is the, uh, we're quite away from the property edge. We didn't clear all the way into the woods. We left a line. You can see it there. That was our 150 foot mark from the center. The red tape here. And then the property line is another 75 feet. So we stayed away from it. And the pink tied buttons are the uh, property line. I don't know if I ever walked down through here, but the actual property line that goes clear to the back on this dog leg goes all the way down this ravine and this gets deeper and nastier as it goes so it's about 300 feet or more from that stake to the next one and it's supposed to go straight down that ravine but it it dog legs a little bit but as you can see how these trees are leaning and they need to come down but they're leaning on this hill and it's it gets ugly pretty quick that might be a cherry there but anyway there's there's still 20 25 trees to go but <clears throat> that's it snow's letting up it's looking good And they put new gravel on the road. We'll see if we can't get that on the way out.
Yep, the deer just ran through here. I barely missed them. 